Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am here with another Minnesota North Stars 1990-91 season game. We have already played 33 games now at this point, and we are 15-15-3, as you can see from the screen. We are five points behind second place Chicago, who is the team that we play in the coming game that I'm about to televise. And we are seven points behind St. Louis. And for the other division, we are three points behind second place LA and a lot of points behind, uh, or 10 points behind Calgary. So we're, um, again, we're doing much better, I believe, than the actual North Stars did at this point in their real 90-91 season. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with the, uh, let's get on with it. And uh, let me see if I can, uh, Yeah, new scheduled, and we are going to play the day so that all these games are out of the way, and now we'll go back up there, and then we will go to um, new scheduled again, and we will play selected game Chicago at Minnesota so we are home and um, I've got us set to computer manager but I'm going to change that to uh, I don't know what that was all about um, cancel oh wait all right that was okay so yeah, we've got computer lines, human decisions in for Minnesota, um, and computer control for the Blackhawks. So I think we're ready to go. And uh, let's uh, make sure we can see everything. And I think you can see everything now. So we're ready to go. I will, uh, okay, so uh, sorry for the interruption there. Um, the Screencast-O-Matic is kind of getting in the way, so. All right, I think we're ready. Okay, I guess we're back. So, yeah. All right, um, next action. We've got the puck. Alf Dolan has it. Sorry, I'm having some technical, like, uh, difficulties here with the uh, screencast-o-matic um, and trying to line it up with the, uh, with the game. So... So we lost it to um, Conroy. So Conroy on Chicago's defense now had it. And um, so we'll see what happens. And now Chelios is inside for an inside shot. And we have Brian Hayward in that now. So that's not good news either. But that's going to be a save by Hayward. And the faceoff will probably be to Hayward's left. So we are uh, there's here we're taking the face off to the left of Hayward. So this is not good news. We don't have John Casey in the net. The last time he played, um, and I telecast the game, he actually had a shutout, and we ended up tying zero zero. And since that game, we have been four four and one, I believe. 
And um, so now Zettler has the puck for us. And um, there is 18.30 left in the uh, first period. So still a lot of time left in the game. I'm going to try to intimidate at 30%. And it doesn't work. And Steve Thomas is inside shooting on Hayward. And that's going to be a rebound. And who gets it? So Gagne got it. So we have the puck. That's good news. 17.59 now left. And uh, hopefully we can move the puck uh, down ice. And we can. Brian Prop is inside for an inside shot on Ed Belfour. So, Big Ed, Eddie the Eagle. And that's going to be a goal plus five, so that's a save by Belfort. He covers it up. And uh, that will be a face-off to his right. And hopefully we can win it off the face-off and get a shot. So, this is kind of a mismatch here. You've got Eddie the Eagle in net against Brian Hayward for us. Bobby Smith is, yeah, the guy that I would want to give the puck to, I think. Um, yeah, he is going to, um, I'm going to try to penetrate inside with him. And, uh, no, looks like he lost the puck. So, that did not work. And, um, uh, so... Uh, Paul Gillis has the puck for Chicago, and we will see what happens now. So I don't like uh, I don't like our chances here, the matchup, uh, especially in net. So Bobby Smith um, has a chance for a shot. So yeah, I'll make it Bobby Smith. That's fine. And he what? I guess he lost the puck because I had to go to drawing another fast action card. So we will see. All right, we got the puck back. Kurt Giles has it for the Minnesota North Stars. Hopefully we can work it back down ice. Been playing pretty well. I mean, defensively, we've been kind of keeping... Chicago, well, no, nah, I spoke too soon. We got Gilbert on an inside shot. And he gets a, a save, and defensive right wing comes up with it. But I was saying, for the most part, we've been keeping Chicago away from uh, Hayward pretty well for the opening of the game. And hopefully we can keep doing that. And Gilbert has now an outside shot on net for Chicago. Um, he gets, there's a save, and it gets to the left wing. So, Brian Bellows has it. That's good news for us. He's, uh, the puck is in capable hands on our side. And Steve Larmer takes it away, and now Chicago has possession of the puck. Um, and now... Jeremy Rennick has an inside shot on Hayward. And he's going to get a goalie rating, and that is going to be a save, and we will give it to Dahlquist. It was a save, any defenseman, and I'm going with Dahlquist on that. Uh, so we have possession of the puck again. That was a nice save by Hayward. Maybe, maybe Hayward's going to play out of his uh, skull this game. Who knows? I mean... We really are going to need that, I, I would think. But, you know, Chicago has, I mean, they were winning the division a few games back, but now they're uh, in second place. So there's another shot, Steve Thomas, and that's going to be a save, and the right wing comes up with it, and that's Madano. So now Madano has the puck. Again, we're going to try to work it back the other way. Chicago is leading us in shots six to one. So we haven't been so far early. We haven't been able to get anything generated. Uh, Brian Prop, I'm going to try to penetrate with Prop, and he failed to penetrate. Didn't get inside, so Chicago is going to take possession of the puck, um, which is not good. 
Presley has it. Um, and now che he feeds Chelios in front, and he's got a shot from inside. That's going to be a rebound. And hopefully we can come up with a rebound. And we do. Duchesne has it. And we lose the puck to um, Jocelyn Lemieux for Chicago. And it looks like we've got a couple of uh, backup guys in there for, um, you know, some healthy scratches. McCray is out there. Bureau is out there. Churla. These are all guys that don't generally play for us. So um, this must be a rest game because that's the same deal with Hayward as well. He's generally not the starting goaltender. So I don't know if this was the greatest game for the computer to pick to be, um, you know, a game to do some healthy scratches. But anyway, we had a 60% intimidation um, chance to get possession back, and we do. And so Bellows now has the puck. Um, and, it's, and it's showing. I mean, the fact that we had some healthy scratches of starters is showing we're down seven shots to one um we're going to try to intimidate steve larmer and it doesn't work so now he gets inside and uh that's gonna be a goal for the team and it scores so chicago is ahead one nothing here and that's not very good and that is Larmer's 24th goal of the year with assists by Michelle Goulet and Jeremy Rennick. So we go back to the, uh, we go back to center ice for the faceoff. Neil Broughton, Allen, uh, Dolan, and uh, Bellows, our front line, and Glenn and Giles on uh, defense. And Glenn has the puck off the faceoff. And hopefully we can move it down. And we do. Broughton's inside on Eddie the Eagle. Let's see if he can uh, score because we're going to need him to. And no, he doesn't. That's a save by Ed Belfour. And their, left def or their right defenseman will pick it up. And that's Dave Manson. So Dave Manson now has the puck. And Chicago has control. And now we've got Doug Wilson inside for an inside shot on Hayward. And that's going to be a goal rating plus. So that's going to be a save by Hayward and uh, a face off to his left in the left face off circle. So they are ahead now in shots nine to two. And in on the scoreboard, they're ahead one nothing. And we're taking a face off in our end. Looks like we're going to win it. I have to select a player to get it. And I'm going to give it to Gagne because he's. He's across from an A penalty. And uh, that's, yeah, Gagne has it. So, let's see if we can get something going here. We haven't been able to very much so far. Madano has an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. We've got to try to do that. And he did. So, Madano is inside, taking an inside shot on Belfour. We could really use a goal right here to at least tie it up, but no, it's going to be a save, and the Chicago left wing comes away with it. So that's McKegney, and uh, Chicago now has possession. And there is 8.05 left in the first period, and Doug Smale took the puck away and has an outside shot. I'm just going to take it because he's not good at passing and he's not good at you know, penetrating. So you should just take it and we should hope for something to happen. And nothing does. It's a save by Belfour and the Chicago left defenseman comes away with it. That's Kusera. And so Chicago working it back down ice. Um, and now we take it away. Dahlquist now has it. He takes it away from Kusera. And 
we'll see what happens with that. And now we lose the puck, and Kucera has it back, so now Chicago has possession back. Uh, Chicago leading nine shots to four and one goal to nothing on the scoreboard. And Basil McRae has an outside shot. He's not good at working it inside or at passing, so I am just going to take the shot. And he got a save. There's a save by Belfour, and the right wing picks it up. For Chicago, and that's Steve Larm. So now the Blackhawks have possession. It's kind of been lately here. It's been a back and forth game ever since the Chicago goal. Um, we have uh, an outside shot for whoever I want it to be. Um, I guess I would I would want it to be Bellows. So he'll take the shot. And uh, looks like there's going to be a penalty on Chicago, hopefully. Um, yes. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not sure what happened there, but it looked like they had uh, two penalties. We had one, and so it's going to be a power play for us, five on four. Uh, maybe one of those penalties was offsetting. I don't know. All I know is we got a power play, and I'm going to take it. I mean, I'm happy with the power play. All right, so um, we're going to give it to Prop, I suppose. And he's going to pass it. And that was my intent. And uh, it's going to be, I'm going to give it to, no, nah, we'll, we'll stick with Gagne. It suggested Gagne, so I'll stick with that. And we got a six, which is a goalie rating plus, and that's a save by Belfour. So the cards didn't go our way, I suppose, and now Chelios had it. And, uh... So we're going to have to pick an action card, get things moving. So let's see what happens. All right, Mike Madano has a shot. I'm going to, um, they're recommending Madano, uh, and that he's as good a choice as any. I'll have him pass. Great pass, Brian Prop, Prop inside for a shot, and that's a nine goalie rating, and it's a save. And a save and a face off to Belfour's right. So, did, did we come away with it? Um, Jim Johnson has an outside shot. I'm going to pass with him. Inside shot for right wing or center. And it's going to be Madano. So now Madano has an inside shot on a pass from Jim Johnson. That's going to be a rebound. Off the rebound. They're the right defenseman, I suppose, come to work. The left defense before Chicago come away with it. And yeah, we got to pick an action card. And we got to pick an action card again. Or maybe the first time it didn't work when I tried to pick it, I don't know. So now Gagne has an outside shot, it looks like, on Belfour with 4.05 left. And we're losing 1-0. And that's going to be a save by Belfour, and the left wing comes away with it. Steve Thomas has it for Chicago. 
and let's see what happens. Um, hmm. Kirk Giles with a chance to intimidate Doug Wilson. I'm going to say yes. We got to. We really got to try to do that because Chicago is too dangerous. Doesn't work, and Doug Wilson is inside for a shot. And it's going to be a save. Any player, and I will give it to Gagne because he's across from an A penalty. And uh, so let's see. I'm going to stop. I'm going to take a break right here. I got to um, got something I have to attend to. So we will, I'm going to try to do that if I can. Uh, let me see where the, uh, uh, hmm. well, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, I will be back in uh, just a minute. I'm just going to take a little break here. Okay, I am back. One thing I love about the uh, screencast-o-matic is you can take a uh, you can take a break and pause the video recording, and then come back and pick it right back up, which you cannot do if you're recording on your phone, as I have found out many times when my wife has called me while I was recording something, and it stops the recording, and um, and then. It doesn't make it doesn't keep it as one uh, fluid recording. I'm going to try to intimidate with Mike Madano. And uh, yes, I do realize I could put the phone on uh, do not disturb and that the call would then not go through. But there's been times where I haven't expected her to call and don't and just on an oversight, don't do that. And then she's interrupted the recording. So. Um, but it's nice to know that this will allow me to stop it, go do something, come back and pick it right back up where I left off, which is kind of awesome. And there's 226 left in the period with Chicago ahead, one nothing. Um, we have Duchesne with a, sh a chance at a shot, and I will make it be Duchesne. We'll keep it as Duchesne. And he loses the puck to Presley. So Chicago now has the puck inside of two minutes, but Duchesne takes it back and has an outside shot. And that is going to be a save, and their left defenseman will come away with it. The shots are pretty even, but the uh, the goals, well, I mean, it's not like one nothing is that big of a deal, but. We have a minute 14 left in the first period, and we have got to try to get a tying goal, and we haven't really been able to get too many inside shots on Belfour. They've all kind of been from the outside. So the Chicago defense has been keeping us on our heels and outside the perimeter. And uh, at some point, we're going to have to probably get inside to get a good shot at Eddie. So now we've got Neil Broughton as a, with a chance to get the puck, and I'll give it to him. He's as good as any, and he's got an outside shot with 41 seconds left in the period. And that's going to be a save, and their center will have it. And that's Jeremy Rennick. So Chicago has it, waning seconds of the first period. Um, I don't expect much else to happen this period. Um, well, we have a shot. Alf Dolan, I'll give it to him. They're recommending him, so I'll stick with that. Alf Dolan inside. I guess he worked his way inside. It looks like he's got an inside shot, and that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman, that should be it for the first period. And it is. So now we open the second period. Uh, shots are 12 to 11, us actually, but on the scoreboard, Chicago is still ahead 1-0 with Brian Hayward in that for us, who hasn't played too badly, but really our defense has kind of kept 
Chicago off his back is really what's been happening, more so than him playing out of his mind. And Jim Johnson comes away with the puck off the faceoff, so we have possession. And they take the puck away, and Conroy has an outside shot. And he gets, uh, he loses it to our right defenseman. So now Kurt Giles has it. And uh, so let's see what we can do with it, if anything. And uh, now it looks like Glenn has it. So. Uh, Brian Propp has a, the chance to intimidate Dave Manson, if anything more ironic could be the case. Um, I will, I'm going to say no on that. 25% is not really a great percentage. I don't want to risk a penalty. That's the last thing we can afford. And with 25%, it's not much of a chance of stopping him anyway. So, um, and he didn't score. And so now... Bobby Smith has the puck for us, 1750. Uh, if you've seen uh, previous telecasts, you know that at some point in the second period, I will move ahead to the uh, to within within the last two minutes of the period to move the action along, and um, this will be this will be no exception. I try to keep these um, telecasts under an hour because I know that um, people. It's I'm you know, be lucky if anybody's watching even for the hour. So um, I want to make sure I don't go over an hour and uh, press my luck even more on that. Um, and I do appreciate people watching. Um, the more you can watch, the better. Um, helps me and it helps the channel. And Kusera has an inside shot. And Brian uh, Hayward makes the save. And we will give it to Basil McRae, who is across from an A penalty. Uh, but yeah, the more minutes you can watch, the better it is for the channel, the more um, the, the more notoriety the channel gets in the uh, in the uh, YouTube algorithm and um, and the better off things will be for the channel so i do appreciate anybody who is watching we got an outside shot for gilbert and that's going to be a save the left defenseman for us picks it up so hayward is actually having a pretty good game uh, like i said our defense is keeping chicago kind of at bay as much as possible here i mean we're only down in shots now 12 to 2 and they've got a penalty. Bob McGill is in the box for two minutes. So we're going to have a power, a two minute power play at the 1533 mark and only losing one nothing. So hopefully we can uh, capitalize on the power play that we have and, uh, and try to uh, tie the score here. Uh, select a player for possession after the face-off. Um, I'm going to give it to Glenn because he's across from an A, and it would be great if they could get another penalty and we could go up on a 5-3 advantage. But even if not, um, I expect some good things to happen. Madonna from the outside, and that's going to be a rebound. Hopefully we can pick it up now that we are on a power play. And we do Gagne with a rebound shot. And he gets an 11, which is a goalie rating. And that's a goal. Gagne! So yeah, we've got Gagne with his 
17th goal of the season on assists from Madano and Bellows. Wow, wow, wow! Yep, so now it's a tie score and it's a tie in the shots, and now it looks like we have some new life here at the 4 1444 mark of the second period. And uh, Hopefully we can come away with the puck. So that was a costly, uh, that was a pretty costly penalty that Chicago took. And now Jim Johnson has the puck. And, you know, I mean, it was on a power play, but I'll take it. I'll take it any way we can get it. So Jim Johnson with the puck. And we lose it. Now Chris Chelios has it. This is a good Chicago team, from what I can remember, these players. They got some really good guys on that team. Uh, Zettler has an outside shot option. He's not good at passing or at penetrating inside, so he'll just take the shot. And he gets a save, and it's going to be to the, uh, what is it, the left wing? Yeah, left wing. McKegney has it. Uh, so we'll see if Chicago can work it back down ice, but no, Doug Smale takes it away from him. So this is now it's it's I would say it's been a pretty it's been a pretty evenly contested game, which is really weird when we've got Hayward in that and they've got Chel or they've got Belfour and Chelios with an outside shot right now, and that's going to be a save, and our center will pick it up. And at the moment, who is that? That's Mark Bureau. And uh, so, we'll see what happens. This, I don't remember Bureau ever having played one of our games. I mean, he may have played one of the quick play games that I did, but I don't remember him being in one that I, I telecast. Um, that's going to be a goalie rating. No, no, maybe it wasn't. So it was a save on an outside shot, and Bureau has the puck again. So 10.56 left. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to intimidate at 30%. We've really got to try to do that. And it doesn't work, and Dave Manson is inside for a shot. And that's a goalie rating. And it... No, it's a save. Huh. I thought it might have been a goal. Um, oh, well, we got to serve a goalie penalty, and I'm going to give. I'm going to make Bureau be the guy that serves that penalty. So, so it was a save, but um, Bureau, but uh, Hayward had a penalty. It caused a penalty on that, and uh, so now we've got a face off to his left. And it looks like they're going to get it. Larmer. Steve Larmer has an inside shot. And that's going to be a save left wing. And that's Duchesne with the puck. Um, now Rennick takes the puck away, and he's got an inside shot. And that's going to be a save to the center, although we don't have a center, so Chicago may actually come away with the puck on this. And they're going to have another inside shot by Michelle Goulet. And that's going to be a rebound. So Hayward's, yeah, he's pl playing pretty well. And now Duchesne has possession of the puck, and there is only a minute 40. Well, there's got to be less than that. It says minute 49 left in the penalty, but there's got to be a lot less than that. Yeah, there's a minute 15 left. And um, Goulet has the puck. And Rennick, he feeds Rennick, and Rennick has an outside shot. 
And that's going to be a save, and our left wing comes away with it. With now 41 seconds left in the penalty, and possibly less. And now, yeah, the penalty's over. So we're back at even strength. Um, they had a few shots there, though, and now they have a 21 15 shot advantage. And it looks like offsetting penalties there. So we'll have a face off at center ice, five, still five on five with 839 left. And at the next break, the next uh, chance that I get where I have to draw a card, I will move us ahead to the, uh, and that's right now. So I'm going to move ahead to the, to two minutes left in the, um, two minutes left in the second, or in, yeah, in the second period. Two minutes in the second. So let's see what happens. And Chicago's ahead two to one. They must have gotten a goal during that time, and now they have a 26-16 shot advantage as well with a minute 16 left in the second period. So now we're losing, and now with 47 seconds left, we're losing two to one, which is not too bad. We've still got another whole period to come back. Jim Johnson has possession of the puck for us. There's only 13 seconds left, so... I don't expect much to happen. Although Gilbert did fight his way inside, take the puck away, and has an inside shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating. And it looks like a goal. So Chicago, on what is probably the last card of the second period, takes a 3 1 uh, goal lead advantage here. With Greg Gilbert getting his third of the year off assists by Murray and Chelios. And the period is over, yes. So now we go into the third and we're down three to one. So we went from when I, ever since I took that uh, move ahead in the action, from one to one with the shots being roughly even to now the shots are way uneven. And so is the uh, goal, or so is the uh, score on the on the uh, scoreboard. With Chicago ahead three to one, and Chelios with possession of the puck, um, and he loses it to Bellows. So now Bellows has it for us. With 18:56 left, we've got to get at least two goals to tie Chicago here. And uh, I'm going to have to take the chance to try to intimidate. But uh, Bellows can't handle him. So Steve Larmer is inside for a shot. And that's going to be a uh, save any player. I'm going to give it to Zettler because he's across from an A penalty. And so Zettler has it. Uh, for you, those of you who don't know, or maybe this is the first telecast you're watching, an A penalty is, well, actually a double A penalty is the uh, worst penalty rating to have. It means you're basically a goon. And so an A is also a high penalty rating. And if you give the puck to somebody that's across from a guy like that, and he tries to take the puck away and um, in such a way as to rough you up a little, to put it lightly, then um, they are prone to a, uh, a chance for a penalty and a power play for us as a result. And that's why I do that. Um, so now Jim Johnson has an outside shot chance. He's just going to take it because he's not good at passing or at penetrating inside. Um, yeah, and I don't expect much to come off that. It doesn't. Um, Belfour makes the save, and it'll go to their left wing. So McKegney has it with 17.24 left in the period. And Manson, he feeds Manson on an inside shot down ice. And that's going to be a goalie rating, and uh, that's going to be a uh, face-off. So Hayward makes the save, which is was critical right there because I think that would have put it out of reach if he had allowed a goal there. And if he does allow 
another goal. I think that will put the game out of reach for us. So he has to be perfect from here on out. And Duchesne now has the puck off face off. And now Bobby, he feeds Bobby Smith, who has an inside shot. And they re really need something here. That's a rebound. Um, and, yeah, somebody for the rebound shot. I'm going to give it. I'm just going to make it Bobby Smith again. I don't think there's any better than Bobby Smith to take that. And uh, goal plus. So. We weren't on a power play, so that's going to be a face-off. A save and a face-off to uh, Belfour's right. And, uh, hmm. All right, I'm going to give it to Broughton. And uh, Neil Broughton has an outside shot option, but he can penetrate, and I'm going to try to get him inside, and it doesn't look like that worked. Maybe he passed it. Uh, no. It was intercepted, and so they've got control, and Jeremy Rennick is the one with the puck with 16-12 left in the third period now. And we took it away, and now Brian Bellows has an outside shot. And that's a seven. So that's going to be a save by Belfour, and their, and their left defenseman has possession. And that's Doug Wilson. So Chicago has the puck with 15.33 left in the third period, and Chicago up 3-1. If we don't get some goals here pretty quickly, we're going to be in trouble. And we have a penalty on top of everything by Kurt Giles. So now we're going to be shorthanded for the next two minutes. And I'm thinking that that doesn't really bode well for us. So let's see. Goulet has the puck for Chicago. Shots are now 29-20 with the score being 3-1 Chicago. Um, a chance to intimidate Jeremy Rennick at 40%, and I will take it. Can't ride him off the puck, so Rennick has an inside shot. And that is going to be a goalie rating plus, and that's a goal. All right, well, that's that doesn't really bode very well for us at all. So now the score is 4-1. Um, they're out shooting us 30 to 20 and out scoring us four to one. So I am going to move ahead now to, um, two minutes in the third, because I don't think there's any chance we're coming back. I did that and the score is still four to one with a minute 56 left. They're out shooting us 37, 28, and now a minute 21 left. And the score is, like I said, still 4-1 to one. Chicago. Jim Johnson, for us, has possession of the puck. And Conroy has an outside shot. That's going to be a save right wing. And now Bellows has it. 11 seconds left, so the period will be over shortly, and so will the game, as a matter of fact. And Jim Johnson on the inside with an inside shot. Not that it really matters, but that's going to be a loss to the right defenseman. And that's it, folks. That's the game. Chicago wins it 4-1. They outshot us 38-28. The uh, three stars of the game were Ed Belfour of Chicago, Jeremy Rennick of Chicago, and Steve Larmer of Chicago. So um, that's what we've got. Um, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Remember, subscribe to the channel if you haven't.
send this to anybody that you uh, feel would uh, be interested in it and also ring the bell so that you're informed when I have um, other videos up. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.